Hello to all in the wonderful land of MFI. Guess what? Tuesday, two more days, two more days. And no more little Chi Chi's. No more little Chi Chi's for me, yay. Oh, I'm a little bit, okay, I'm a little bit feeling guilty because obviously my process has been a little bit prolonged with my complications, check getting lost, switching doctors, all this great stuff. So I'm a little bit feeling bad that my recovery is going to go into my kids' summer, but my family keeps yelling at me They're like, shut up, just get it done. So no backing out now, surgery in two days. So pushing the guilt aside, recovery is gonna go smooth, it's gonna go quick. I'm thinking all positive here. So I can be back and up and being a great mommy again. So I'm excited. My pre-op, I took little videos. I deleted them. I am a ding dong and I'm a delete whore lately. And I delete things before I end up uploading them onto my computer and posting them. So anyhow, my pre-op went great. I was really excited because I woke up that morning and I went for a pregnancy test. And I actually had to go to, it's like a third party, not at the actual doctor's office. And my first doctor that I switched from, <laughs> They actually, they, they gave me a stick and they're like, go in the bathroom, one line, you know, you're pregnant, two lines, you're not, whatever it was, come back and let us know if you're pregnant or not. And I pee on the stick and I'm waiting in the bathroom for like ever and nothing's showing up on my pregnancy test. And I'm like, are you serious? This is just weird. Why am I doing this? So I set my thing on the trash can and I walk out and I'm like, my test isn't showing up. And they're like, oh, go grab it and bring it in the room. So now I'm walking through the office holding my pee stick. Ew. <laughs> I was like, really? So it felt so much more professional to go somewhere. And, you know, growing up, my little friends, they were all candy stripers. I played softball. I was too busy. I wasn't a candy striper myself at the hospital. But they're always so cute in their little outfits. And I go to the hospital. And... The little candy striper, she's this old little woman and they're old little men and they escort you everywhere and it takes forever, but it's the funnest thing. It made my day. It was amazing. And so they take you to registration and then they take you back to the lab and then they, they walk you everywhere. And it's just, oh my gosh, it was adorable. So I went and did that. That took a little bit. And then I came home and my family and I, we went to my pre-op and it was just a blast. It was a blast. And I was expressing concerns to my doctor and he was just able, everything I said, he said, well, look, this is what it's going to be, whether you do this or this. And he was able to explain just everything thorough, thoroughly to me to where I just felt completely comfortable. And even down to areola size, I'm like, won't my areola stretch over time? And he's like, well, yes, especially with how large you're going. I'm like, well, can I go smaller? So now he's like, yes, when I, you know, when we get to the room and we sit there and draw everything, we'll We'll pencil it in a little bit or draw it in a little bit smaller for you so that way it gives you some extra space i'm like i want a little tiny one <laughs> yeah, i'm such a dork and so everything and so i mean we're pretty much to the conclusion no matter what whether i do a two-part procedure a lift and then coming back for augmentation later a few years later i'm going to need a lift again anyhow my elasticity is that bad i mean you could just see i have stretch marks everywhere they're just everywhere so even me doing what I'm doing now, unfortunately, I'm either going to be okay having natural saggy boobies in, you know, years from now, or I'm gonna have to get a lift again. And at this point, it just, it's just what we have to do as being women. It's horrible and I feel selfish and to spend money on things like that's just ridiculous, but I'm getting over it. I'm learning to accept things slowly. I'm learning to not be such a freak. No, I still freak out, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I figure I'm irrational. <laughs> And then I need to calm down. So I'm very, 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 very excited. So I'll be there 6.30 in the morning, Tuesday, to get ready for my surgery. My husband's going to take little videos whenever he can in the process. Um, he's going to upload a vlog as soon as he possibly can on Tuesday to kind of keep you guys updated. Ah, can you guys believe it? It's finally happening. And for those of you that are in the process still waiting... I know it seems like this everlasting wait or you're still earning you will get there you will get there and you will miss the journey you will miss it because you'll a part of you is it, you you lose a part of you I don't know it's sad it really is and I know there's a lot who can relate but it's so amazing to see so many new faces it's so great to see that the drama is kind of fading away and the appreciation for our benefactors is coming back I love it. 
There's so many amazing beauties on the site. Keep your heads up. Life is never easy and you guys are doing so great. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to my benefactors, the 181 of you that own my boobies. And then those of you who I've met after, it's just been, it's been, it's been irreplaceable. <laughs> it's been great. I, ah, I'm gonna get all teary eyed. I'm gonna cry again. Jeez, I need to stop. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Tuesday. Mwah! Kiss, kiss. Bye.